Today, I'm going to be doing a review of Mafia 2. Essentially, I'm just going to put out little videos, um, like I'm going to get little snippets of uh, recordings I've done, and essentially just go over the things I like and the things that I dislike. Anyways, let's get to it. One of the things I like about um, Mafia 2 is the shops. They look nice, they're well made up, you know, it's got graphics and um, they're quite realistic to some extent. You can rob them and really do whatever you like. The only thing that's off is the animations a little bit, but I personally see no issue with it. Two things I like is the Smith Custom. It's a very good car, I've supercharged it, but even without um, the supercharger and custom wheels, it still works and runs very well. Another thing I like is the graphics of this game. They're just very good. I'm not even really running this in full settings, but it does work pretty damn good even in medium. I do think that um, the settings on, I mean the graphics on Mafia 2 are very good, better than most games of its era in my opinion. The cars. They simply just look awesome, they run awesome, and handle pretty well too. Another thing that I love about Mafia 2 is the driving. You can pretty much plot your course and drive there. The cars handle pretty well apart from most of them being rear wheel drive. Go for a bit of a drive, I'll explain why I like it. The handling on this game is pretty good. Like, you can drive cars that are somewhat realistic. I'm not sure I've really driven a car that much, but... Yeah, I do like the um, actual um, performance of the car. I do like the whole animations behind it and the graphics. There's really not a lot I can say, it's just best that I show you guys here. I really just do like the way this works, like the blur, it's pretty good in my opinion. I also like the fact that there is a tachometer on the um, gauge here, so when you're stopped you can actually rev the engine and see how hard it's going. This is quite helpful if you want to know like, when the gears change and to know if you're spinning out. Another thing that I'm sort of in the middle of and like, some something that I, you know, like and dislike is the uh, fuel station where you can actually refuel your car. What would you like, sir? Full tank? Full tank, please. Sure thing, pal. Sorry about the prices. The gas keeps going up. Tough times roll around, you know? Sounds like the 50s. Here you go, sir. Thank you. Come again, sir. Another thing that I do like is the fact, you know, that you can actually go to um, the car wash and actually have your car, you know, washed. I'll do that now, but my car really isn't that dirty. It needs more of a fix than it needs a clean. And, well, it's clean. Another thing I like is the mod shop. You can modify the car, you can add, you know, different wheels to it, Are you, you can change the rims. Wheels? Take your pick, you pal. can really, um, select whichever wheels you feel appropriate. I uh, like these, uh, Paytone, uh, Misty Hawk, or whatever they are, so I'm just gonna stick with them. I also like the fact that you can install a supercharger and perform tuning. You know, you get your maximum Another power out of your engine. Custom. Another thing that I like about this game is that you can actually perform robberies on gun shops and clothes shops. So you can do stuff like this. I'll take that, no need to pay for it. Another thing I like is that the um, you won't have a shit ton of SWAT teams on your ass. 
Okay, so robbed the cash register. Now I got seven hundred bucks. Now I just killed the police. Copy that. Suspect is about six feet tall, average size. Roger that. Officer down! Officer down! Shoot this asshole! Anyways, Ten let's get back four. to base. Now, let's get on to the things that I don't like. One thing I do hate is on this story, the subway station is not only locked, but even in the DLC, it's actually unusable. It's essentially, you know, just a bunch of tunnels. There actually is no subway. You know, they can sort of do it in GTA 3, so I think they can do it in um, Mafia 2. Another thing I hate, which is something that, you know, that's indeed something that is in Saints Row 3 is the fact that that you know trains don't actually work they do nothing this is just essentially sitting here like one thing I do hate is the fact that you know they've rendered trains and added railways but they actually haven't made the trains work and it'd be really nice to you know take a train like that for a spin it's just generally something I think would be pretty fun Another thing I hate is that there is an entire area behind here, I don't know if it's an actual area or if it's just the skybox, that is just completely, um, you know, blocked. You can't actually go past this and these tunnels essentially lead to nowhere. I kind of see that as quite disappointing. I really do. Another thing I hate is that this actual map was built very small, but the way it's actually made really allows it to be a lot bigger. And I honestly would have loved to see, you know, trains actually rolling over these rails and the ability to, you know, drive and explore a bit more. I'd like to see sort of the countryside. Two things that I quite hate is the fact that, for one, you can't swim. And the other thing that I hate is that when you drive into water, this happens instead of what happens on GTA SA. I honestly think that's really buggy and I really hate it how you can't walk into water. It really sort of sucks, it would be cool to actually swim. Another thing that I hate is the fact that on Mafia 2 if you buy a DLC car like this one for example, you can actually, it won't actually spawn on the street so once you lose this you pretty much lose you know, sort of the access to the DLC car. If I had to um, give Mafia 2 a rating, it would be maybe our 8 out of 10. The game was very well made, I really don't have any objections to it. I feel that, you know, it could have been bigger, and you know, it could have been a bit grander. You know, I feel that, you know, there's a lot of space there that could be used, there's a whole lot of um, things that could be um, added to the game, you know, like, it's very good, it's just, I think it would be a good platform for modding, and I really would love to see more mods for it, but, yeah, you can get the game on Steam, you can buy the DLC on Steam, if you have an Xbox 360 or PS3, you can buy the game as a disc, or maybe download it, it's not that hard, but, I'm just generally happy with it. It's a good game, it was worth the money, and it is quite fun. The story is pretty damn good. So, yeah, that's the end of this video. I'll, I just recommend you guys just to try the game out, see if you like it as a demo, and buy it if you want. That's all. See ya.